Every time we go online, we leave a trail of digital breadcrumbs. This is our digital footprint, a record of our online activities. It includes websites visited, purchases made, and even messages sent. This information is often collected and stored by companies. It can be used for targeted advertising. In the wrong hands, it can be used for more nefarious purposes. Imagine a stranger knowing your every move online. They know what you buy, who you talk to, and what you're interested in. This is the potential reality of the digital age. Our data is valuable, and not everyone who wants it has good intentions. Protecting our privacy is crucial in this digital landscape. It's about maintaining control over our personal information. We need to be aware of our digital footprint. We also need to understand the tools available to protect our privacy. Taking control of our digital lives starts with understanding the risks and taking steps to mitigate them. It's about safeguarding our personal information from those who would exploit it. Many people believe that using incognito mode or a VPN is enough to protect their privacy online. While these tools offer a basic level of anonymity, they are not foolproof. Incognito mode simply prevents your browser from saving your browsing history. However, your internet service provider can still see your online activity. VPNs encrypt your internet traffic and route it through a server in a different location, masking your IP address. This makes it appear as if you are browsing from a different place. While VPNs can be useful for accessing geo-restricted content and adding a layer of security on public Wi-Fi, they don't offer complete anonymity. Sophisticated entities can still track your online activity even when using a VPN. Your online behavior, the websites you visit, and the time you spend online can all be analyzed to potentially identify you. Simply put, VPNs in incognito mode are not enough to truly vanish in the digital world. For those seeking true anonymity, a more comprehensive approach is needed, creating a fake identity. This involves crafting a completely new persona online, separate from your real-world identity. It requires careful planning and execution. It is important to understand the ethical implications and potential risks involved. A fake identity is a constructed persona, separate from your real-world self. It allows you to interact online without revealing your true identity. While often associated with criminal activity, fake identities have legitimate uses. Security researchers, for example, use fake identities to infiltrate criminal networks. Journalists use them to protect their sources and investigate sensitive stories. These individuals operate within ethical and legal boundaries, using fake identities as a tool for good. It's about understanding the power of anonymity and using it responsibly. Creating a fake identity involves building a believable online persona. This includes choosing a name, creating social media profiles, and even fabricating a digital history. The goal is to blend in, to appear as a regular user while remaining undetected. However, the same techniques used for good can be twisted for malicious purposes. Criminals may use fake identities to scam individuals, steal information, or conduct other illegal activities. It's a dangerous game, one where the lines between right and wrong can easily blur. Ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, use their skills to find and fix vulnerabilities in computer systems. They operate with permission from system owners. They play a crucial role in making the internet a safer place. Fake identities are an important tool in their arsenal. By adopting a fake identity, ethical hackers can penetrate systems undetected. They can think like a criminal, exploring vulnerabilities without raising suspicion. This allows them to identify weaknesses and recommend solutions before malicious actors can exploit them. Imagine a bank hiring an ethical hacker to test their security system. The hacker creates a fake identity, posing as a customer. They use their skills to try and access sensitive information. If successful, the bank learns about a weakness in their system. They can fix it before real criminals can exploit it. Ethical hackers operate in a legal gray area. Their methods often resemble those of malicious hackers. The key difference is their intent. They use their skills for good, working to protect individuals and organizations from cyber attacks. Section 5. Journalists and their secret identities. 
Journalists often rely on confidential sources to expose corruption and wrongdoing. Protecting these sources is paramount. Fake identities can be a crucial tool in their work, allowing them to communicate securely and protect their sources from harm. Investigative journalists may create fake identities to infiltrate criminal organizations or expose wrongdoing. They may pose as potential buyers or sellers of illegal goods, gathering evidence without revealing their true identities. This can be a dangerous game, requiring careful planning and execution. In some cases, journalists may create fake online profiles to interact with sources who fear retribution for speaking out. This allows sources to share sensitive information without revealing their identities. It helps ensure their safety and encourages whistleblowing. Journalism relies on trust, both from sources and the public. Using fake identities ethically requires transparency within news organizations. It also requires careful consideration of the potential risks and benefits. Section 6. The Dark Side of Fake Identities While fake identities can be valuable tools for good, they also have a dark side. Criminals exploit fake identities to deceive, defraud, and disappear. Cybercrime often hinges on stolen or fabricated identities, making it difficult to track down perpetrators. Fraudsters use fake identities to open credit card accounts, take out loans, and make unauthorized purchases. They can wreak havoc on individuals' financial lives, leaving a trail of debt and legal problems. Scammers create fake profiles on dating websites and social media platforms to lure unsuspecting victims into relationships. They use emotional manipulation to extort money or steal personal information. The anonymity provided by fake identities makes it difficult to track down these criminals. They can disappear quickly, leaving their victims to deal with the aftermath. Law enforcement agencies face significant challenges in combating crimes involving fake identities. It's a constant cat and mouse game as criminals find new ways to exploit technology and evade detection. Section 7. Why people choose the fake identity route. People choose to create fake identities for a variety of reasons. Some seek anonymity to protect themselves from harassment or stalking. Others may want to bypass censorship or access restricted content. The motivations are as diverse as the individuals themselves. Dissidents living under oppressive regimes may use fake identities to communicate with the outside world. They can share information and organize protests without fear of reprisal. Individuals who have experienced online harassment may create fake identities to start fresh. They can engage in online communities without fear of judgment or abuse. The desire for anonymity can stem from a need for privacy, a desire to explore different aspects of oneself, or a way to escape real-world constraints. Whatever the reason, it's important to remember that creating a fake identity can have both positive and negative consequences. Section 8. Building a Believable Fake Identity Building a believable fake identity requires careful planning and attention to detail. It's about creating a persona that can withstand scrutiny, blending seamlessly into the digital landscape. The first step is choosing a name. Avoid using common names or names that are similar to your own. Once you have a name, you need to create a background story. This should include details such as age, occupation, and interests. Next, you'll need to build a digital footprint for your fake identity. This involves creating social media profiles, email accounts, and even online dating profiles. Be sure to choose profile pictures that are not easily identifiable. Populate these profiles with information that is consistent with your chosen background story. Consistency is key when maintaining a fake identity. Avoid contradicting yourself or posting information that doesn't align with your persona. The goal is to create a believable online presence that can withstand scrutiny. Section 9. Protecting your fake identity, location, communication, and security. Maintaining a fake identity requires constant vigilance. It's about covering your tracks, ensuring your true identity remains hidden. This involves using tools and techniques to mask your location, secure your communications, and protect your anonymity. Using a VPN is crucial. It masks your IP address, making it appear as if you are browsing from a different location. However, 
it's important to choose a reputable VPN provider that does not log your activity. When communicating online, use encrypted messaging apps that offer end-to-end -end encryption. This ensures that only you and the intended recipient can read your messages. Avoid using public Wi-Fi networks, as these can be easily compromised. If you must use public Wi-Fi, always use a VPN to encrypt your traffic. Maintaining a fake identity is an ongoing process. It requires constant vigilance and attention to detail. Be aware of the risks involved and take steps to protect yourself from exposure. Section 10, a final word on fake identities. The digital age has ushered in an era of unprecedented connectivity. It has also blurred the lines between our real and online lives. Fake identities, once the domain of spies and criminals, are increasingly commonplace. While tools like VPNs and incognito mode offer a basic level of privacy, they are not foolproof. For those seeking true anonymity, creating a fake identity may seem like a viable option. However, it's crucial to understand the ethical implications and potential risks involved. Ethical hackers and journalists use fake identities to make the internet a safer and more transparent place. Criminals exploit these same techniques for nefarious purposes. As we navigate the complexities of the digital world, it's crucial to be mindful of our digital footprint. We must take steps to protect our privacy. Whether or not to create a fake identity is a personal decision with far-reaching consequences. Choose wisely.